Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial here in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Today, we are taking a look at this awesome vending machine that uses an 8-way selector to get our items. It's very easy and simple to build, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you guys have not seen the way to make the 8-way selector and how it actually works, you could check out that video by clicking on the annotation at the top right-hand corner of your screen, but let's go ahead and demonstrate what this actually does. Okay, so I'm gonna grab ourselves one diamond from this chest. This is a set currency that I put for this vending machine and using this one diamond, I could get any one of these items by simply pointing at it using our arrow. So say for instance, I want to go ahead and grab myself a sword. I would simply just click on the arrow until it gets to the sword and then drop down our diamond into the hole. Here we go, and then it should go ahead and give us a diamond sword. All right, so we're gonna wait for this to happen, and there is actually some note blocks attached to the system. You can't currently hear it right now because my screen recorder does not record audio, but if you build it just like me in this tutorial, you will give yourself some pretty cool sounds to enjoy while our system is working. So after a few moments of waiting, we simply click on this dropper right over there, and bam, that is our diamond sword that we got by trading in one diamond. I know it's kind of crazy in the currency, but yet again you can set any of the items on this list that you want, as well as the currency for those items. So let's go ahead and now take a look at how to build this. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is come over here and dig down three blocks down. After you do that, place down a chest at the bottom, then crouch and place down two hoppers on top of our chest, then come right over here behind our hoppers, dig down two blocks blocks, dig down two more blocks right next to it, then come over here, dig down three blocks until you get all the way down to the bottom. If you're on a super flat, there should be bedrock right over there. Then you want to go ahead and dig down three blocks right over here in front of this area just like this, so let's go ahead and do that. It's a bit tricky on Minecraft Pocket Edition, but there we go. Three blocks right in front of there, and then two blocks on this side, and then two blocks on this side, and you should have a really nice area dug out, or we could set down some redstone. So as you can see, that is how it looks. We grab ourselves a redstone comparator, place it on top of this block, coming out of the first hopper, going into a redstone repeater, place a bit of redstone dust inside this hole, place down a redstone repeater going into this block right over there with a bit of redstone dust on top, grab yourselves a redstone torch, place it on the face of that block, igniting this redstone repeater and that bit of redstone dust. You want to destroy the block on this side of our redstone comparator, go into your decoration menu, grab yourselves a block of redstone, place it down right over there, and then make sure and place down a bit of redstone dust on top of that uh, redstone block, giving our comparator a bit of power that is extremely important in order to make the trade system work. Now, once you have that, you want to go ahead and grab yourselves another block of your choice, place down a block over here, a block over there, a bit of redstone dust there, and then we can go ahead and cover up the area. And then we uh, basically just place down blocks right over here, not a problem. I just place down grass blocks. Once you have that, place down three blocks over here, and then build it up by two more layers, so it's going to be a three by three area. Then we go and grab ourselves our item frames, which is in the decoration menu yet again. So let's just grab those, place it down right over over there, grab ourselves an arrow from this menu, there we go, pop it down, and that's going to be the default state of the arrow. Then we need to grab ourselves, yet again, another block of our choice, place it right above this bit of redstone right over here, build it up to right over there, build one over here, up to over here, destroy this block, and then build one right over there. We grab ourselves a redstone repeater, take a signal from that block, it should be ignited right now, do the same from that block, going into this block, and then place down a final redstone comparator right over there. Now now what we need to do is place down eight blocks of our choice right in front of our redstone comparator. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Eight, and then we need to go ahead and grab ourselves some redstone comparators. Place eight down right over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I counted it twice because uh, I wasn't sure if I placed down eight blocks. But uh, yeah, there we go. Now what we need to do is crouch and place down a block on top of this redstone repeater and then bring it all the way down. So let's go ahead and do that. Once we have that, place down another row of blocks in front of these redstone repeaters. Bring it all the way down yet again to 
to the eight blocks, then place down redstone torches on the face of these blocks right over here. Yet again, eight redstone torches. Place down a block on top of our, our redstone torch right over here. It's going to be a bit tricky, but uh, just grab it like that. There we go. And then extend it all the way down to the other side. We need to grab ourselves some redstone repeaters and then place our redstone repeaters going in from going into this block from this block over here. So we need to go ahead and just place it right in between. There we go. Yet again, eight redstone repeaters. Grab ourselves a bit of redstone dust. Place it on top of these two blocks right over here and extend it all the way down to the other side. All right, so once we have this, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dropper. And this is going to be tricky on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Even when I'm flying, it's kind of tricky for me. So I imagine in survival mode, it's going to be a bit more difficult. But basically, what you need to do is place down your droppers facing up right over here on top of these blocks just like that make sure it looks exactly like this when you're placing it down and bam there we go we didn't really have a problem with that so now what we need to do is place down our uh, dropper right over here at the top section of our three by three area and make sure it's facing either sides because you don't want it facing this way because it's just going to drop down and go back into our hopper so yeah just make sure you do it sideways that way it does not actually drop the item so the next thing we want to do is place down our hopper system we basically crouch yet again and place down a hopper going into that dropper place down another hopper going into that hopper place down another hopper going into the side of this hopper and then extend it all the way down onto you get above all of our droppers so we basically just walk back yet again crouching the entire time and placing down our droppers for the final one we want to come down over here and jump up right over there crouch and place down our final hopper and as you can see it's going to basically travel all the way down to the you know dropper at the top of our selector system all right so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and grab ourselves some of our note blocks which is in the decoration menu right over here you place down your note blocks right in front of these blocks right over here and they should be activated whenever our you know dropper dispenses any items now what you need to do is place down a redstone torch right on this block over there place on a block of your choice right on top of that extend it one block to the left and come around here place on another block on the face of that block and then extend it like that in an L shape then we need to go ahead and create Crouch and place on a block on top of this redstone repeater and then extend it all the way down to the other side. So let's just quickly do that. There we go. Just fly up and place down the remainder blocks. Then we need to place down another row of our blocks of our choice right on top over here. And then we need to grab ourselves a bit of redstone dust and place it all along these blocks next to our hoppers. And then we need to extend it down into that L shape that we just created. So just come over here place down a bit of redstone dust there and then over here and over there and it should be ignited and it should go all the way down to the end. Now I am using a texture pack so as you can see if you go up close to it you can see that it is actually activated and then once we have that we grab ourselves another block of our choice place down one over here one over there we place down a note block by crouching on top of this uh, comparator and then just you know click on it there we go we grab ourselves a redstone repeater place it going into this uh, note block over there place on another note block over here and another repeater and when you activate the system It should go ahead and sound off those two repeaters when the item gets into our dropper All right, so let's go ahead and now set the currency now to set the currency We need to go back down into the ground come right over here you want to grab yourselves a chest if you're on um, MCPE because this is kind of difficult and we need to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, four non-stackable items. So for that, for my case, it's going to be shovels. So let's go ahead and grab those. We place down a shovel into our item hopper like that, and we basically do it over and over. And the shovel is the easiest thing to make, so that's why I'm choosing that. So let's go ahead and grab another shovel. There we go. And as you can see, the item in the item hopper is not moving. That's because of the little redstone block trick that we did with the comparator earlier, which is why I said it's very important. Let's grab ourselves another wooden shovel. There we go. And we need one more right over here there we go and then we could go ahead and select our currency now our currency needs to be a 64 stackable item so you could put iron ingots gold ingots emeralds or our diamond uh you know diamonds of course so let's go ahead and just choose emeralds and then what we need to do is basically go into a chest 
and place down one uh, of our emeralds into that chest so we have 63 and then we place down the entire stack of 63 into our item hopper all at once so i'm gonna hold it down right now if i could you know kind of see this right now because it's so freaking tiny uh, oh gosh, my finger keeps slipping off of it. Okay, so we placed down the entire 63 stack of emeralds into our item hopper, not 64, and boom, there's our item currency now set. Basically what happens is when we drop down an item, it like only allows emeralds to go through, and then the remainder one emerald goes into our chest, and we could then get our items. So let's go ahead and test this out. We would basically first need to set the items up. And to do this, we grab ourselves more item frames. And basically, when you're pointing to the top right-hand corner, that is going to be the default position. That is going to be hopper or dropper number one. And that will be the first item. So say, for instance, I want to go ahead and set an item for my vending machine. I would simply go into my menu and grab, say, um, let's see, maybe a sword. Let's grab ourselves an iron sword, place it on, oh my god, what are you doing, cow? We place it onto the first section, then we go into the first uh, item dropper, place down our sword in there, and then that's going to be basically cor corresponding to the actual vending machine. So now we just need to drop down one emerald into our uh, hopper over here, and that should give us our sword. So let's just drop that. There we go. As you can see, the entire system goes off, the note block plays, and then we can grab ourselves that sword inside the item dropper. So that is basically how it works, guys. I, I hope I explained it properly, but if you want to set any other of these uh, items on the actual vending machine, this is going to be number two, and then all the way around is going to be number eight. So that is basically going to correspond with the item dropper. So this is number two, and of course, the last one is going to be number eight. So anyways, guys, that is basically going to wrap up today's Redstone tutorial it's by far one of the best redstone vending machines i've seen especially in minecraft pocket edition if you enjoyed it please take one second to smack the like button i definitely appreciate it leave a comment down below tell me what other items you would like to see or creations that you like to see in mcpe and i will try to create it anyways guys this was twist and i'll see you later